Aloha, everyone, and welcome to the show Lillian's Vegan World. I'm your host, Lillian Kumig, and we're here to talk about all the wonderful and fascinating things about the vegan and plant-based diet. So I have, I have a very, very awesome show ahead. And uh, before that, I would like to thank Think Tech Hawaii for letting us use their beautiful studio. We are collecting uh, donations this month through to next month. Uh, anything helps and we can keep, keep these you know, really awesome shows going for you. So please go to thinktech.com if you would like to make a donation. Um, I also accept bottles of very nice champagne. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, welcome. Today I have a really, really awesome guest that I have been very much looking forward to meeting. Um, so let's welcome both of them to the show. Pony Askew, welcome. Thank you. And your awesome son, Makana Askew. Thank, Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so Pony, I met you just recently, mm -hmm. last month, and uh, you had something very interesting to tell me, so I knew that I had to get you on the show. And my friends and family have been excited to, uh, for this particular episode. So first of all, Pony, may I ask you to introduce yourself? Just tell us a little bit about yeah. what you do here in beautiful Honolulu. Yes. Uh, so my name is Pony Askew. Um, we're best known for Street Grinds. We are the producers of... Um, local events in Hawaii and work with a lot of um, small business owners to produce the events. And um, other than that, I'm Makana's mom. And, yes. you know, we're here to talk about um, our exciting journey that we've been on as a family today. And so today I'm Makana's mom. Yes, <laughs> Makana, welcome to the show. Aloha. 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 <laughs> so I heard from your mother that you became vegan recently or how long ago was it? About a year and a half ago. Okay. So before that, prior to that, you were just a regular, yeah, a regular kid food. eating regular food? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So you have to tell us what happened that made you change the way you eat. Yeah. Well, um, I watched this show called What the Health. Okay. Yeah. And then it just talked about like how, how meat and dairy products and all animal products really affect our bodies and how animals are treated. Um, so then just the next day I decided, you know what, I'm going to be a vegan. And it's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if only adults could, could think that way. Yeah. You know? yeah. That's so interesting. I, I also saw that documentary. It's, a, it's yeah. an excellent documentary. Um, may I ask, where did you see that? On Netflix. On Netflix. So yeah. you watched it in your home? Mm -hmm. or? What made you watch a documentary like that? It's kind of I think I just I think we're just scrolling through some movies and we saw mm -hmm. it and you're like, you know, why not watch it? Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Did it How did you react to some of the things that you, you I was heard? really surprised. Okay. Like, um just how they've been like brainwashing us and saying, "Oh, meat's so good for you." Mm -hmm. But it's, it, it's really not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> <laughs> and the good thing is that uh, vegan food tastes really great too. So yeah. we're not really I'll be missing told for the difference at all. Yeah, excellent. So how old are you? I'm fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. So you watched this movie when you were about twelve. This documentary. Just about. Yeah. Yeah. Like and turning thirteen somewhere in there. Okay. Who were you watching it with? Just my mom, my sister, and my dad. Okay. And then what happened? So you, you t did you turn around shocked. and say, Mom? <laughs> yeah, I was just shocked. So okay. I woke up and I didn't want to eat any meat whatsoever. I'm like, wow. I'm going to be a vegan. Wow. And you just stopped eating it, yeah. eating animal products altogether. Yeah. And then, like, just the next day we threw away all the animal products in our house. So, Pony, how did you react to this when your child suddenly says he wants to change his entire, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. diet and eating yeah. habits? I mean, it was, it was impressive to see the next morning he had written out a plan and, and he had a statement wow. that he had written down in a book saying, I'm not eating meat anymore. Um, years and years and years ago, I was a vegetarian and, I, okay. and we were at the point of being pescatarian mm -hmm. by the time we watched this documentary. And so oh, okay. it wasn't too difficult at that point for us to um, transition. Mm -hmm. 
really? although it was still a transition, um, especially for my husband who, you know, mm -hmm. had never really tried a lifestyle other than than the meat. Okay, um, steak was a big one for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it would have been. Definitely. So, um, I, I couldn't see why not after watching the documentary either, mm, okay. you know, why we wow. shouldn't change our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there was a lot of key health takeaways from that, mm -hmm. that documentary. And I think he was really impacted by the, um, in the documentary, <laughs> they equate cigarette smoking to oh, egg yolks yeah. or to eggs. And, right. and I, that really impacted him. I really? remember that specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and so that I think that might have been one of the key motivating factors was the right. health first and mm -hmm. then for him particularly um, recalling how the animals mm -hmm. are treated and that sort of thing. And, and so, yeah, we just said, okay, let's do it. And we did it. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. um, actually, a lot of people who, a lot of uh, folks who did watch that documentary have reacted in a similar way. I think I remember when it first came out, everyone was going on about this new documentary that's turning people vegan and mm -hmm. it was making some people yeah, very skeptical about this oh. whole thing because it's really not a it's not a um a program that is uh, lying correct so a lot of the stuff in well everything in that program is uh, true so yeah. i'm i'm glad to hear that you're enjoying this new lifestyle are you yeah, how's it way going better than actually eating meat yeah. yeah so so how's your family life going now as far as food? Do you, do you all help cook or oh, yeah. you know, yeah. try new Every recipes and, and stuff? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, usually, like, um, it's, it's at home with our nanny, Auntie Lily. And, um, well, think, I'm Lily, and so I could be your nanny if she ever quits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you won't forget my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been really um, helpful. We found a app called Emails, okay. um, and and the biggest question we have is how did you figure out how to eat vegan yeah. um, or cook vegan? Mm -hmm. And it is a change in everything that maybe you might have been raised to know. And so to have that support, which is basically a weekly menu plan that um, really? allows you to customize which ones you want and then go grocery shopping. Um, okay. It uh, and it's simple enough where they can cook most of the meals mm -hmm. as well. Um, right. And so that was, I think, key for us to transition was mm -hmm. having just a resource that could really definitely. make it a little less research and just more jump in and do it. Yeah, definitely. And so the um, that part of it, as far as a family, has made it easier. And these kids aren't afraid to get in the kitchen. So oh, awesome. So, um, actually, Makana, you, you sent me some photos that uh, show some of the stuff that you eat. Let's take a look mm -hmm. at them. How about the first one? Oh, yeah. That doesn't even look vegan, does it? It just looks like <gasps> a regular, yeah. you know, nice meal. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, there's um, vegan pancit. 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 What, what's vegan pancit? So this is, um, this was from a, a, a lady who, it's at Seven Vegans HI. It's her family is seven, family of seven, they're all okay. vegans. Um, and she makes um, Filipino and Asian inspired vegan food. And uh -huh. so in that picture in particular, there was vegan pancit, okay. um, which is normally made with some kind of pork in it. Yeah, um, it looks exactly like that, doesn't yeah. it? Like a... Yep, and then yep. Uh, the vegan lumpia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then that's a vegan meat stick. She actually makes her own seitan um, and then flavors uh -huh. it. And then normally you would call it pork guisantes, which is that back okay. um, one this, back there. That looks like a stew or something. Mm -hmm. it's, pork, mm -hmm. uh, it's normally pork and peas, but this okay. is, I believe it was tofu or it might have been another seitan mm -hmm. in there. Um, and then the brown rice. Sorry, I'm just uh, salivating. I know here. it was really good. <laughs> and that looks he, really good. He remembers it, um, but that she's been doing a really good job, kind of popping up at events, and so we look for her whenever she's nice. somewhere. Yeah. And that that looks like something that really you wouldn't have to be vegan to enjoy. I mean, no. that, that that's the thing yeah. about. Uh, that I've found about vegan food, just the misconceptions that you have to be vegan in order to appreciate it or, mm -mm. you know, get some satisfaction from eating it, which is 
it's really not the truth. Yeah. Vegan food His is so buddy tasty. was at that particular event, and he really liked the, yeah, the food as well. I and said, he's not vegan. Yeah. He, uh -huh. was, he wanted more of that seitan sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he, so he liked it. Yeah. Was, I told him, I asked him, do you think this is vegan? He sat there for a few seconds. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I think that's true. I, I guess if you didn't tell people that some of the things that they're trying are vegan, mm -hmm. they actually wouldn't know the difference. The difference, right. yeah. So yeah. That's, that, that's actually a very good sign that yeah. Yeah. You know, vegan food is delicious too. Makana, can I ask you, how did your friends react when you told them that you were going vegan? Um, my friends were like, Good job, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, they were, so they they were, were supportive. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. there has been some challenges. Yeah, my family, oh. like, on the other side, they're mm -hmm. like, you know, they're, my grandma really, like, a lot, she's happy yeah. that I'm vegan, mm -hmm. and she's trying it herself. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, like, the rest of my family, they, they're like, oh, why are you not eating meat, you know? Mm -hmm. Or they're like, um... You know, they try to like offer me meat. I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that happens to a lot of people. It, the same thing happened to me um, years ago. Like people would try to trick me into eating something right. that. Yeah. It, yeah. Maybe exactly. it's just it's it's uh, hard for some people to comprehend. But once they try some of the food that you're eating, and once they see that you are healthy and mm -hmm. enjoying it and yeah. happy and not struggling, I think that's when they start becoming more and more uh, supportive and positive yeah. about it. It's really interesting when you decide to make that decision, how many people suddenly are interested, invested in the foods that you're not eating anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah. that's been the biggest challenge for him yeah. is, you know, the attention in, in a not so positive way that he gets, you know, if he, um, you know, I, makes a plate with just fruits and salad and, and that sort of thing. So I think that's where he is still learning how to um, positively defend himself, you know, and, right. not, and, and, and maybe use it as a teachable moment versus, you know, um, just getting upset about it. And so we are working through that because there is like not just peer pressure, but family pressure. Definitely. Um, yeah. And I don't know where it comes from or why people are interested in mm -hmm pushing the, the meat products, you know, mm -hmm. when on the opposite end, they never pushed the non-meat products. Yes. <laughs> um, so we talk about that a lot because it, it is a realistic challenge mm -hmm. that he has in the society that we live in. Yeah, so. definitely. I think um, as soon as someone starts doing something different and something of the unknown, people mm -hmm. just, it's, they're hard, it's hard for them to react positively yeah. to it. Especially with food, you know. Like, food is a big part of everyone's, you know, lives and what they do. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you need it to survive. You do. So, yeah. so we talk about, what, what I try and encourage him to talk about are the, the positives, the, the upsides. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah. that, you know, his family's healthier now yeah. and the food is delicious. And, and, yeah. and, you know, it's not all difficult. Like, it is influencing mm -hmm. others for change, whether it's incremental mm -hmm. or to just outright try Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yes. Um, and so those are the positive things that if we just focus on, mm -hmm. you know, instead of being offended. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. of course, yeah. You can't get offended by, yeah. you know, the way people are reacting. But it's it's awesome that you're able to perhaps educate them, show exactly. them, show them yeah. a different way that you can eat. We're going to take a, a quick break, Makana. Okay. Um, don't run away anywhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to um, get, get some more insight and talk more about your awesome journey on the plant-based diet. So see you in a bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. My show is based on my book, also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about creating a superior culture of excellence, leadership, and finding greatness. I interview guests who are successful in business, sports, and life, which is sure to inspire you in finding your greatness. Join me every Monday as we go beyond the lines at 11 a.m. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. 
We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. Today's program is titled Vegan Children, Happy and Healthy. And I have one very, very happy and healthy child here. And this is Makana, who's awesome and he's making a difference in the world of health and the health of your family. So just to sum up quickly, all everyone in your family, including your sister, is now vegan? Yep. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it really is because that didn't happen in my family. No one followed yeah. suit. Mm. <laughs> so I'm the only one. Um, if you don't mind, I did, I did come up with, I did find some uh, studies online oh, sure. that I would like to briefly talk about. Uh, the first one is from an acclaimed pediatrician, Dr. Benjamin Spock, who wrote in his book, Dr. Spock's Baby and Child Care, that quote unquote, children who grow up, grow up getting their nutrition from plant foods rather than meats are less likely to develop weight problems, diabetes, high blood pressure, and some forms of cancer. Mm. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends against giving cow's milk to children under a year and goes further on to say, quote, there is no reason to drink cow's milk at any time in your life. So it was designed for calves. It was not designed for humans, yeah. and we should all stop drinking it today. Do you miss cow's milk? Nope. Nope. And nope. the reason is because there are millions and trillions and billions of non-dairy milks out there. Yeah, <laughs> like, like silk milk, almond milk. Silk is my favorite. Yeah. That's the one that I drink too, the soy yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I love that too. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really there are so many... Um, endless amounts of dairy products, even uh, yogurts and ice creams. Do you, right. eat, do you eat vegan ice creams? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's has a, um, a dairy-free. It's like a fudge and, fudge and cookie one. It's delicious. I wish you didn't tell me that, Mahana. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to go and sample a few. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, there is another study that I... I did want to read out, it's from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, which is the largest group of nutritionists in the US. Mm. And this quote says, it is the position of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics that appropri appropriately planned vegetarian, including vegan diets, are healthful, nutritionally adequate, and may, prov may provide health benefits for the prevention and treatment of certain diseases. Mm. Well-planned, this is the key word, well-planned vegan diets are appropriate for all stages of the life cycle, including during pregnancy, lactation, infancy, childhood, and adolescence, quote, unquote. So that's from like one of the biggest, yeah, um, nutrition, yeah nutritionists, um, organ, nutrition organizations. Yeah. So I say we keep going with what we're doing. I think so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do you, Makana, did you notice any health changes like, oh, in, yes. so in the year and a half? Yeah. Can you tell us a few things that, that changed for you health-wise? Yeah, there was, um, mm -hmm. I had way more energy, right? Okay. I slept way longer. Okay. Um, I looked better. I had, I had better skin. And so you're not married. You're no, currently not, single yeah, okay. no. on, on, on the market. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a your, lot of Your skin's changes. gorgeous, but so, so is your mother's. Thank you. Like, I'm yeah. sure that, that definitely has something to do with oh, what yeah. you're eating. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Yeah. I told him not many uh, teenagers are fortunate to have clear, soft skin at the age gorgeous. of 14. And really? so mm -hmm. whatever you put in ultimately comes back out. Definitely. Okay. Food is thy mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else changed for you? Um, just cravings. Okay. Like, um, like about a week after I went vegan, mm -hmm. I, I completely stopped, you know, wanting like, oh, I want ice cream or oh, I want a burger, uh -huh. right? 
But there, after a year, mm -hmm. it's there has been like a few times where I'm like, I want to spam Musa B so bad. Okay. But <laughs> it's it's pretty easy just to say. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you you must have a very um, I forgot the word in a strong will, strong mm -hmm. willpower, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. something that I think. Um, the, I think, yeah, I think that you're looking, you're looking at this as a way of life as opposed to a diet because it really isn't a diet, yeah, it's a it's lifestyle. lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. And I think that is where a lot of people who, you know, go on particular diets end up, you know, getting off the wagon yeah. or not being able to, you know, continue with such mm -hmm. diets because they're, they're too hard. So hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the same actually. I get, I get cravings for stuff. For example, I've been vegan for about 10 or 11 years now, uh, but I was vegetarian prior to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I did love before was cheese. I ate a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. So I, I would mm -hmm. get cravings for, you know, pizza and yeah. stuff like that all the time. But there's this thing called vegan cheese. Yeah. And all yes. were amazed. <laughs> <laughs> you can make it, you can buy it, you can eat yeah. it, you can indulge. Um, yeah. So I have to say the cravings that I have are really all fine because I'm yeah. able to eat all of that just in the vegan version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makana, let's take a look at another slide. Um, some other food that you've been cooking up and making. Ooh, this yeah. looks amazing. It looks like a, an American breakfast. Yes. Or something. Yeah, it is. Something yeah. that you want to wake up and see on your dinner table ready right. with some nice fresh juice. Tell us about what's on this plate. So, yeah, there's, um, some, uh, there's a vegan pancake. As you can Yum. see, there's some vegan butter on that mm -hmm. also. Yep. And there's some maple syrup with bananas in it on the yeah. side, so you can pour it over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there's feeling you. I'm definitely yeah. feeling you. Mm -hmm. There's also some uh, vegan tofu scramble. Or yeah. Something? yeah, yeah, vegan tofu scrambled eggs. Right. right? Mm -hmm. My dad made those ones. It's Yum. amazing. Um, those are some sweet potatoes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's some um, at the top. There's uh, vegan sausages. They, that looks exactly like Spam. Yeah, actually, it does. Doesn't it? Yeah. Just speaking of that, 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 that could certainly substitute for. Yeah. You could yeah. make one of those uh, musubis with, mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Did you make that? Did somebody yeah. make this? My dad made that, I think. Wow. So he cooks a my lot. My sister made the pancakes and my dad made everything yeah. else. Yeah. Well, which amazing. part of it did you make? <laughs> I just ate it. You know? <laughs> that's that's yeah. a very important role, Makana. I would like to um, send a message out to my fiancé. I'm about to get married in about a month. Nice. Oh. And I just want him to know that um, all these vegan breakfasts you can make are very Is easy to make too? and you can practice every, any weekend. <laughs> Something yeah, like you that. can teach, or your sister can teach him how to do a good yes, pancake. Yeah. A good pancake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what else have we got? Let's take a look at another slide. <laughs> I love this one. So this is vegan foodies loving their... That vegan vegan cheeseburger. cheeseburger. Did you go out to eat that, Makana? Uh, no, we're at my house. Yeah, oh, really? My, yeah, my dad made that. That's a homemade. Yeah. Yum. Yeah, I remember that actually. We had we bought some salad from Costco, and then he uh -huh. made the burgers mm -hmm. and um, with some vegan cheese. It's the Daya cheese, right? Daya, Daya cheese. Daya. And yep. then a uh, field roast yep. um, burger. And it uh, looks like just a uh, cooked veggies and then a fresh salad. Right. Yeah. That is <laughs> so much healthier than it a is. typical, yeah. um, you know, burger that you would see in a restaurant with, you know, oily fries and stuff yeah. on the side. That is that is so good. Did you post this on an in Instagram? I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an Instagram site? Yes, it's page? at um, it's at Vegan Kid Foodies. At Vegan Kid Foodies. Yeah. Makana, I'm going to make a prediction that you become a very famous uh, vegan yeah. kid on Instagram. <laughs> Want to make that bet? Yeah. Okay. Let's say it again one more time so everyone got it. Um, it's at Vegan Kid Foodies. Okay. And on this uh, page, do you post a lot of photos of? Vegan mm -hmm. stuff and food that you like to eat. Yep. Okay, so people can find you there and swap photos and see yeah. see what fun things and healthy things and more importantly delicious things that you're yes. you're eating. Awesome. I think we have another slide we can take a look at. 
Oh, this yeah. is this is right up my alley. This one. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at this photo when you sent them. It was like, what the hell is That's this? Yeah. It looks mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. It, it's a spicy Indian chick food truck in Holly Eva. Really. Um, mm -hmm. And that was a sweet potato curried cauliflower taco um, with a chutney on the side. Oh, and then yeah. that was a lentil, maybe it was a doll or something like mm -hmm. that, um, with their basmati rice. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very vegan-friendly truck. Uh, okay. I think they do offer a few non-vegan options as well, but more vegan than not. Yum, mm -hmm. that sounds nice. I l absolutely love Indian food. It was really good. Yeah, nice. Let's have a look at another one. Oh, oh right. <laughs> so, Makana, yeah. let's, let's just uh, break everyone's myth, everyone's yeah. myths and misconceptions when they think that you can't eat sweet food on yes. a plant-based diet. So yeah. they're gorgeous little cupcakes, I guess. My sister made those. Did she? Yeah. Awesome. So she's totally into helping cooking right. out as well. Yeah. I want a sister who makes me cupcakes. <laughs> Maybe I can borrow her sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's had um, a couple of orders from a few people. Really? Yeah, she got. She made like three pans of cupcakes. She got like, she got wow. money. Yeah. I would, I would buy something right. like that. Definitely. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. yeah. What, were they chocolate flavored? Yep, they or? were chocolate cupcakes, and she just she just completely made it all by herself. So we use flax seed as an egg replacement, and I think so soy healthy. milk mm -hmm. as a milk replacement, mm -hmm. and so. And she's just been experimenting mm -hmm. with these types of things. She likes to bake. She likes the sweet stuff, so uh, that's her motivation. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, everything in moderation. You don't have to. You don't have to give up stuff like that just because right. you're on a plant-based diet and. I always tell my clients or people that I'm working with as a vegan chef that, uh, yeah, you don't have to deprive yourself. You have to enjoy your lifestyle and sometimes, you know, eat the things that make you happy and are comforting. Mm -hmm. You don't have to give up anything. Yep. I've been known to eat a few potato chips every now and again. <laughs> yeah. Makana, would you give um, look over here at this camera and give people, the kids out there in Hawaii and around the world a message? Anything you like? Well, I'm just going to say that um, if you become vegan, just try your best to stick with it because in the end, it will help you so much. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better, any better. That's <laughs> awesome. It was so nice meeting you, you. the Game Pony, yeah. and so nice meeting you, Makana. Would you come back again another time yes. in a few months and let me know how you're doing? Definitely. Let me know if my prediction is coming <laughs> true. One more time, give yeah. out your Instagram. It's um, at Vegan Kid Foodies. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, see you next time. Aloha.